Was mich interessiert, I'm interested in the processes that decide upon life and death. I'm a scientist because it is in my nature that I want to know how things work. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. Henning Weichak is researching programmed cell death. The aim is to fight cancer. We all know someone who has suffered from cancer, and many of us know someone who died of cancer. And that's also how it was for me, and that's why I decided I'd like to make a contribution to fighting this disease. Cancer medicine is undergoing a revolution, triggered by the success of cancer immunotherapy, for which the Nobel Prize in Medicine has been awarded in 2018. Together with his team, which includes his wife, Eva, Vychak explores how cell death can be used to get the immune system to do its job. Cancer cells are perfidious. Their most clever survival strategy is to knock out the immune defense. Vychak and his team want to prevent this. Well, that's pretty good. Yes, complex. Yes. Exciting, mm -hmm. very good. With cancer, the tumor cells are altered in a way that they are resistant to the immune system's messenger substances that mediate cell death. Thereby, the cancer cells evade the attack by the immune system and can proliferate further. Often, they now even produce the messenger substances for cell death themselves, which further inhibits the immune system. The result? The tumor grows and the immune system doesn't recognize it. Henning Vachak's research is focused on exactly these messenger substances. By influencing these messengers, his aim is to prevent the death of those cells that fight the tumor cells, and at the same time render the tumor cells vulnerable to this attack. If this succeeds, the immune cells are able to recognize and attack the tumor cells again. In a moment, all the cells will be red and therefore dead. And only a dead cancer cell is a good cancer cell. In the past 10 years, Vychak has been researching in London. The British capital has become a home for him and his family. Brexit was a turning point for us. I am European and I want my children to grow up as Europeans. Spending time with his wife and his three children, a source of energy and necessary balance for Henning Vychak. When we're at home, it's all about the family. And when we're with the family, then work plays a subordinate role. And that's a good thing, because then we can really clear our heads and think about other things. We can laugh and play with the children, which is a great joy. The new home of the family is also the parents' old home. Henning Weichak will take up the Humboldt professorship in Cologne. I grew up on the River Rhine. In that respect, moving to Cologne is a homecoming. On the other hand, it's a new environment. For me, it's always been very stimulating to come into a new research environment. In Cologne, he will find many sparring partners for his approach. The city ranks among the European elite for cancer research and has a strong focus on cell death research. Henning Weichak will focus on preclinical cancer research. Where did the cells come from? I've extracted them from the spleen of mice, and I'm in the process of dyeing them to detect certain surface markers. In our animal experiments, we model the exact diseases that patients have. And that's how we can test our new therapy approaches. And that's why this exchange, this direct exchange, is so important. This exchange from the lab bench to the bedside, the hospital bed and vice versa, will be the focus for Vychak in Cologne. The shorter the path from the idea in the laboratory to the active substance at the patient's bedside, the better. Humboldt gives me opportunities opportunities to do things that I've been thinking about for a long time. Humboldt means freedom, 
freedom of spirit and freedom of research. And he wants to make use of it, perhaps to eventually take a decisive step in the fight against the great scourge, which cancer still is to this day.